Hi guys, hope you're all well. Uh, Keir from Lift Performance Evolution, and I'm just going to bring you hopefully a short video today um, on how severely restricting calories can negatively affect fat loss. All right, the first thing I want you to consider is your BMR. I want you to keep this in mind throughout the video. What is your BMR? BMR is your basal metabolic rate. So at rest, at complete rest, this is how many calories you're going to expend over a 24 hour period. All right, so if we can increase your BMR, all right, it makes sense that we do this so at rest we are burning more calories. What we don't want to be doing is negatively affecting this. So I'm going to show you how reducing calories too much will affect this. Okay, now I want you to consider two things. I want you to consider whether you want weight loss or whether you want fat loss because there's a distinct difference between the two. Weight loss, you're going to lose water, you're going to lose uh, muscle glycogen and you're going to lose muscle mass and you're going to lose a little bit of fat. So four things that will affect weight loss. Right, well, fat loss, the idea is that we're looking just to lose fat and maintain, at the very least, muscle. If we can maintain muscle, then our BMR is going to stay elevated. Okay, so consider which one that you want. All right, now I'm going to try to relate you a little bit and say that you've been on an extreme calorie deficit diet before. Yeah, all right, now what happens with that is okay, this is kind of termed as your your dieting. So, what happens is you you restrict calories a lot to lose weight and you lose a lot of weight very very quickly okay and you think this is great but then what happens is you can't sustain that over a long period of time so then normal habits keep creep back in you start eating normal food again then what happens you start gaining more weight and then a little bit more so again you get frustrated so you go back on a diet and then you restrict calories even more only this time you don't lose as many as as much weight Again, you become frustrated, so then you go back to normal eating habits, and again, you add more weight. And this is kind of like a yo-yo effect. You drop weight, you gain, you drop weight, you gain. But each time you gain a little bit more. Now, why does this happen? Simple. Because when you go too far in a calorie deficit, you start delving into the depths of despair. And yes, I have just made that up. Let's say that it takes 2,000 calories to maintain your current weight. Okay, so you weigh 160 pounds, uh, so you don't lose any weight, you don't gain any weight, it's 2,000 calories, okay? Now, if you're on a crazy, crazy low calorie diet, let's say it's 1,000, all right, we're quite far away from our maintenance calories. 1,000 to be precise. All right, so the further we get away from our maintenance calories, the more we start utilizing proteins or Simplicity, muscle as an energy source. So again, if we start utilizing muscle, then our BMR declines. So we start burning less calories at rest. So what can we do? All right, let's just say we drop it down by 200. Now that doesn't seem like a lot. However, over the course of seven days, that's going to be 1400 calories. It's actually quite a few, but we are going to get is fat loss. Okay, we're not going to utilize as much muscle. We're going to start burning more fat, which is great because then it means we're not burning muscle. That means our BMR is going to stay elevated. Therefore, we're burning more calories when we're at rest. Okay, so. If we start burning muscle, now this becomes a problem. This is how when you're doing your your dieting, you're dropping, you're gaining, you're dropping, you're gaining. Muscle decreases. Now when muscle decreases, our BMR decreases. So therefore, when we gain more weight, we get an increase in fat. Now for body shape, this isn't great. Okay. Unfortunately, this takes a lot of time, dedication. This is very, very quick, which if you've done the diets before, you'll know. So I want you to think what's important to you. Is it fat loss or is it weight loss? We found this video informative. Um, if you did, please share it with your friends. All right. If you want to know more about it, please comment. I'll try my best to help you out. Um, 
until then, thank you very much for watching.